So I'm gonna clean these fish, show you how I do it. Uh, everybody, I'm sure, does it a little bit different. And hey, to each their own, but this is how I do it. First, you gotta go out and catch some. Went out today, caught a limit. So here's how I do it. Hope y'all can see that. Notice how I pivot. I don't cut through there. And I've got the knife at an angle towards that fin on the back. Then I drop the angle and slide down this other side. Because there's two sides of that backbone right there. You've got this angle to follow that down through there. And then you drop down on that angle to get all that. Flip it over. If any thing at all. Hardest part is getting them out of the bucket. Oh, I cut that one. Okay, so once you've got them all flayed off, what I do is I individually rinse each fillet. Get all the scales. You know, if you got little pieces, sometimes I'll pick up a little bit of a bone from the uh, spinal column trying to preserve as much of the meat as possible. So I'll just always am mindful to make sure. And I'll clean these up once I get them into the house. And I'll add that into the video also. you've gone out and you've had a good day you've caught some fish you come home and you filleted that fish then what you want to do is soak it in water for about 24 hours that allows the meat to swell up and absorb some of that water it is a lot easier to cut the rib bones out after it's sitting in the water now I will say that if I plan on baking some of my fish I won't soak it in water because during the baking process the water comes back out and I generally don't like that but anyway to each his own uh, but as a general rule you soak it in the refrigerator in ice water for about 24 hours once that's done then you fillet the bones out and I'll show you how to do that right now okay guys you always want to make sure that you've got a good sharp fillet knife 
So, always sharpen your fillet knife up. A lot of different methods on sharpening a fillet knife, but this is how I do it. Be sure not to cut your finger. Alright, fillet knife is sharp. What we want to do, you I've drained the water off of the fillets. Grab you a fillet. And then there's two sets of bones. There are the rib bones that run this way. And then there are some lateral bones that run along this line right here that you see. Uh, so what I do is I cut down right there and I hit the rib bones and then I turn the knife and I let that fillet knife slide down those rib bones just like that. And then you'll see there's the, the rib meat or the belly meat and then listen, these are your rib bones. You hear that? So, and they go back to about right there. And so, and this is all bone free now. So I'll put that in there, and then I'll come down along the side of that, and this separates all bones from here. Now, if you've done it properly, filleting technique outside, and then you've cut the right spot, this is a fillet that has no bones in it whatsoever. Um, then I take this piece, and I don't want to waste this meat here, and I'll come down, and I'll slide down along these rib bones at an angle here to get and you can feel the bones if you're careful. And then this is all the rib bones right here. Right there is those rib bones. And then the lateral line bones. And then, of course, that goes to the cats or wildlife or whatever. Now, there aren't any bones in here, but there might be a little bit of fishy flavor in this line. Now, this is probably controversial. Some guys, I'm sure, will be mad at me for cutting this out, but if you have a wife like mine, she's very particular, and so I just cut that line out right there. And if there is any lateral line bones in there, you've gotten them out for sure. Throw that to the side, and then you've got a perfectly good piece of uh, tail meat right there. Now, back to my wife being particular, she doesn't like thick pieces of fish and so when i'm dealing the fish for just her or me I, a lot of people like it this way we'll take it i'm going to try to do this usually i get down at an angle to do this but we'll take a fillet and we'll actually fillet it again okay and that way you end up with thinner pieces of meat uh, now again if i'm baking my fish i won't fillet it like that because i do like thicker pieces of fish um if you this is a about a 10 inch crappie 10 and a half inch crappie and so that's usually fine my wife she would literally tried to have flayed that three times you know one two times and had three pieces she she likes it super thin but let's do that again so that you get the idea again i go down and then i turn my knife and i'll slide along those rib bones Applying pressure, you'll know you have enough pressure if the knife has a bow to it and you can, you've got the blade angled to where it's sliding down them rib bones right there like that. And then the rib meat will come off. Again, this is a really good piece of meat. And, you know, a lot of guys will just cut here and here at an angle and just discard that whole piece. Well, they're really missing out on a wonderful piece of meat, that uh, rib meat. Um, it's just really good. Uh, like on salmon, I know a lot of the fat content is in that rib meat, that belly meat. So you don't want to waste that. Uh, got that? Just follow that line again, just like so. You should have a good piece of meat. Um, cut down. You'll, you'll see the angle. You can kind of see where the inside, see how this kind of curves back towards the lateral line bones. And so you'll get that angle. And you'll feel that you didn't go through any bones. And if you're careful, if you hit a bone, you'll feel it on your blade. Again, there's your rib bones, all your lateral bones, completely discarded in one piece, just like that. And again, a lot of guys won't cut this out, and that's fine, but they just don't have a wife like mine. She's very picky. So anyway... Uh, if you freeze your meat, that you'll want to cut that out anyway because that will have a lot of fish flavor in it over time. Let's fillet this one more time. Again, this is easier if you get down, you know, kind of bend sideways, but I'm holding the camera on my chest mount here, and so I'm having to do this without bending over to keep the camera steady. And, you know, you just end up with a beautiful 
crappie filet. And uh, cut them smaller if you want. Some people like them small. One more time, you know. And this is just some of the, um, where you filleted the scales off, the skin off. The filet knife just picked up on some of that skin, so don't worry about that. Again, cut down, turn your blade, go at an angle, and you'll get faster at this as time goes on. I purposely at the end brought my blade up because there's a piece down there that I don't generally like to get with the belly meat. I like that to be all pure, trying to avoid some of that right there. And that's, that's no big deal right there. I wouldn't worry about that a bit. Just like so, and like so. And you get rid of that. That's really good for cats. If you've got cats, they will love this piece right here. And of course the rib bones, you know, don't generally recommend giving your cats the rib bones, but I guarantee possums and skunks and uh, raccoons and everything, because we live in, in the woods, and I guarantee that everything else is eating them, so. And that's usually how I do it, guys. Um, fillet my crappie that way, and then you fry it up. I hope that this has helped you. I hope you've enjoyed the uh, videos that I make. If anybody has any suggestions or need anything, just give me a holler. Thanks. Have a good day.